Hi, I'm Professor Shelby Rosengarten at St. Petersburg College, and today for Band Books Week, I'm going to be reading to you from The Fellowship of the Ring, the first in the trilogy for The Lord of the Rings. This book was banned in New Mexico, and it falls onto the American Library Association's list of 100 most challenged books because of the presence of magic. So I'll be reading to you from just the beginning, because if you haven't gone on this trip with Frodo and his friends, then you really should, and I will uh, introduce you to the situation at hand. Chapter 1, A Long Expected Party. When Mr. Bilbo Baggins of Bag End announced that he would be celebrating his 11th-1st birthday, with a party of special magnificence, there was much talk and excitement in Hobbiton. Bilbo was very rich and very peculiar and had been the wonder of the Shire for 60 years, ever since his remarkable disappearance and unexpected return. The riches he had brought back from his travels had now become a local legend, and it was per popularly believed, whatever the old folk might say, that the hill at Bag End was full of tunnels stuffed with treasure. And if that was not enough for fame, there was also his prolonged vigor to marvel at. Time wore on, but it seemed to have little effect on Mr. Baggins. At 90, he was very much the same as at 50. At 99, they began to call him well-preserved, but unchanged would have been nearer the mark. There was some that shook their heads and thought this was too much of a good thing. It seemed unfair that anyone should possess, apparently, perpetual youth as well as reputedly inexhaustible wealth. Too much of a good thing, Lord of the Rings.